uh, the does 9/11 affected your uh, ideas of Islam or, or any religious tolerance? 9/11. made me think why would anyone do something like that? There must be a reason for this. Um, and I wanted to learn more. I knew that many people decided that the Muslim world was to blame for this. But I had already met um, a few people who were Muslims, and I didn't find them to be the kind of people who would commit such a terrible act. So I wanted to learn more. I think it's very interesting that right after 9-11, uh, English translations of the Quran were one of the uh, best-selling books in this country, because I think other people were interested in learning more about it as well. I have since learned that um, terrorism in any form is against Islam, as it is against Christianity, for that matter. But we certainly know that through the ages, uh, terrible, aggressive, and um, uh, violent acts have been committed in the name of all all religions, Christianity included. So I think uh, we must be very careful not to judge criminal activities uh, as being caused by any true religions. They should be considered criminal activities and the perpetrators uh, should, should be treated as criminals. Um, I think terrorism is a worldwide problem, and all religions uh, have terrorism. We have, we have terrorism sometimes in the schools in this country. I've often thought of the uh, Ku Klux Klan as a terrorist organization, and they committed many of their terrible acts in the name of Christianity, and that is just as wrong as what happened on 9-11. So, do you recall uh, or remember any of Glenn's writings uh, against the, the violence or any, any, any forms of speeches or works that you encountered? I recall that uh, Mr. Gulen sent a protest to the Washington Post within a few days after the 9-11 attacks. Um, denouncing it as an anti-Muslim act and denouncing it as an anti-human act. Uh, I'm not sure that any of the other papers picked it up and, and printed the article, uh, but I, I believe the Washington Post was one of the first to, to print his protest against that form of terrorism. Uh. What do you think about the interfaith dialogue efforts of uh, this group of people, which we can recall as the Glenn moment, uh, the, the people who are inspired by Glenn? Um, like how much extent you're uh, you knowing them, or, or like, what do you think their value as a universal peace uh, helper or humanitarian of important? The first time term I uh, excuse me. The first time I heard the term Institute of Interfaith Dialogue, I thought, what a beautiful idea that is. Um, and since then, I'm hearing it more and more, and it is start, starting to even creep into American news media, which is gratifying to hear. Interfaith dialogue is something that I became a bit familiar with in my own church because there are a number of people in my church 
myself included, people in my Sunday school class, who have been very interested in exploring other faiths and trying to understand more about them and trying to find our similarities. Um, it's a beautiful idea. Uh, some people may think it's a utopian idea, but the more I learn about it and the more I hear from people who also believe in it, the more I'm thinking that it's possible. We can really achieve better understanding by just talking to each other. Because when you talk to someone face to face, then you get to know them as a person and you relate to them as a human being. And it's very difficult to hate someone that you get to know personally.